Hello, Gabby here with Endress Analytics, and once again I am going to do a Google Analytics tutorial. This week I am going to focus on campaigns. First of all, uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to get to the campaigns report. It's over here under acquisition, and go to campaigns. And I had a short little campaign that I kind of ran um, last year where I kind of threw uh, some campaign uh, tracking um, for some of my blog posts that I was sending out to Twitter. And it's something I meant to keep doing and I've just kind of keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting to do it unfortunately and that's just, it's my own fault <laughs> and everything. But if you are going to do a campaign, the key thing to remember is that you're going to have to have what's called a um, query string parameter that is added to the end of the URL that you are promoting either on in social media or through an AdWords campaign or that kind of thing. Um, so real quick here, um, when you get into your campaigns report, it starts off with just the name of the campaign and you can actually drill down from here and it goes into the source medium. So you can see here, um, I called the source Twitter and the medium tweet. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can also say like email or, you know, you can call these things anything else you want. And if I go ahead and I hit the back button, you can also just go straight to just source, just medium, etc. or you can have the, the source medium up here as well. And all of this is being populated from the query string. So one of the nice things that Google has done is they've created what's called a uh, URL builder to help you with this. So I'm going to go ahead and go into here because this actually will help explain a lot of these things as well. So for example, so here's the URL builder and um, it actually helps you in terms of the different parameters that you have to uh, take into account when you're running a campaign uh, with these kind of URLs and everything. So let's say I was going to go ahead and I was going to do a campaign and I was going to send people just to my homepage, you know, instead of to a specific blog post, which I could also do. But let's just say I'm just doing it to the homepage. And then um, source, so it could be Google, um, you can say Google AdWords, you can whatever, you just, um, I recommend not using spaces. Um, you can use symbols and things, but again, um, all of that, because it goes in the, into the URL, they get translate into, translated into uh, little percent sign, you know, like percent 20, etc. for um, a space and that kind of thing. So it's better to have it lowercase, no symbols, no spaces um, in general for these things. But let's say I was going to go ahead and I was going to do this instead of for tw uh, Twitter, I was going to do it for Facebook. So let's say the source is Facebook. And then the medium, so this could be for um, a banner ad, it could be just for a post, like we're just posting it to Facebook. Um, it could be for any number of things that you're going to do it. Let's say um, I'm doing it just straight up social media and the medium is just going to be a post, so a Facebook post onto the Facebook page. All right, then campaign term. This generally is um, if you're doing AdWords or um, Bing or Yahoo uh, search kind of um, search engine marketing type of things where um, it's all dependent on the keyword. So you're purchasing a keyword, etc. Now, if I'm just doing a Facebook post, I don't need this. So you can see like these are um, campaign source, campaign medium, etc. These are uh, required fields. Campaign term is not. Um, campaign content, this is used as, as it says here to differentiate the ads to make it unique. So let's say um, I am going to do a Facebook post and I'm just doing a promo uh, and it's July um, 30th, 2014. Um, so that's sort of a unique identifier. And then for the campaign name, I can say uh, Facebook campaign, um, let's say, why don't I just say Facebook posts uh, 2014. Um, let's just say that's the campaign I'm doing, uh, that I'm running. And when you hit submit, it spits out basically what the uh, query string URL is that you need to be using. So here is uh, basically UTM source is um, what uh, you're using within the URL to, uh, to identify the source and it 
always has to be UTM source. It cannot be different. So if those of you who are familiar with Adobe Analytics or some of the higher end paid tools where you can customize and, and name your query string parameters anything you want, well, with Google you can't. You're kind of limited. Um, and so it's UTM source, UTM medium for your medium, UTM term for your campaign term, UTM content, and UTM campaign for the campaign name. Um, and so that's what you're what you're stuck with. And you have your query string here. The first one is question mark, and here's the name of it equals, and whatever the term is. Um, and then you you append um, or you concatenate with the ampersand. And so it's you know, the first one's a question mark, and then ampersand, and then the next one, etc. And it just kind of skips past like term. If you're not using a term, it just doesn't include it in here. And Google will recognize that. And basically, then you can just you know copy and paste this from here um, and and send it off to let's say since this is a Facebook post, I would be obviously linking this to my Facebook page um, that I'm going to be you know doing the the campaign for. Um, and of course, with the example I have in here, instead of Facebook, it would have been um, this would be Twitter and this would be Tweet. Um, and then this was like Twitter. Um, Let's see, I think I was I was calling them blog posts 2014, and I was I was tweeting the blog posts, and I was actually thinking of you know for the for the campaign um, of doing them to Facebook and Twitter, etc. And I just I just never got around to it. But if you're doing an actual you know really you know like really seriously focused campaign that kind of thing, then that's how you do it. And then just you know looking at um, the just the kind of the default view of the reports and things. So you have all your campaign names here, and you can see how many sessions they drove. Um, sessions is the new term in Google Analytics that used to be called visits. So this drove uh, 14 visits, um, and then the percent of, of sessions. So it, it drove a, um, just shy of 14.3% uh, of all visits during um, this particular time frame when I was running it. Um, it drove two new users, um, had a really healthy bounce rate because it's a, it was a blog post that I was posting. So 35% uh, bounce rate um, for a blog post is really great for me because you can see here the site average is closer to 70%. Um, and then pages per session was three, three pages per session. Um, you know, my site average is 1.9, so that was actually really good. That was actually um, a really good pages per session. I mean, obviously, I didn't get a lot of data here, and so you know, I'm 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 extrapolating from from just a very small um, subset of traffic coming to my site. Average session duration was three minutes. My average across the site is a minute 45. So overall, I mean, this looks like it was really good and. It indicates to me that I probably should keep doing this. <laughs> um, the one thing, though, however, is that of these 14 sessions, um, none of them um, converted uh, during the time frame. So none of them uh, went to my Contact Us page. None of them um, sent in a contact uh, form. And of course, um, you know, uh, I have a, a value that I assign to my uh, contact us goal value. And obviously, since no one came through, it has a value of zero. Um, but yes, so that's the the default of everything. And obviously, you can you can actually use the some of the campaign uh, metrics within the customization report. So if you're going to run a custom report, you can use some of the data there, and you can kind of play around with some you know adding different metrics and that kind of thing, and and using campaign names and things um, as as your dimensions uh, within the custom reports. All right, so um, that's. The basics of doing of running cam, uh, campaigns and things. I mean, the, the big thing obviously is it's an external campaign. You have to put in query string parameters into the URL for Google Analytics to be able to track it, and um, and and there you go. If you have any questions or or anything where you'd like me to go into a little bit more detail on this, please leave a comment in the uh, comments below. And uh, if you are finding these tutorials helpful, please give them a thumbs up. Please share them. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.